You read about it in the newspapers, watch it on the news, but what if the murder wasn't in a far-off place, or some unknown victim? What if it was your neighbor, your friend, your sister? The cause of death was, was from, uh, from stabbing. She had been stabbed n numerous times. On February 15th, 1974, Mary Kathleen Schleiss was last seen leaving her apartment near downtown Minneapolis at around 10.30 a.m. She was heading to the Chicago Museum of Art for an art show. At around 1.15 p.m. the same day, Dennis Anderson of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, witnessed a man throwing a body into the snowy ditch of a dead-end rural road. That body was later identified as the body of Mary Kathleen Schleiss. A lot of her traveling was done uh, by hitchhiking, and ultimately that uh, that may have played a part in in how she died. There's a couple of things that are inconsistent with with her hitchhiking. The way she was dressed, her, her her footwear for one thing, she just had on some loafer type shoes. And if a person was hitchhiking in you know mid February, you, you would think that you, that she'd be ha should have boots on. Uh, she got a ride from somebody. I suspect that she would not have hitchhiked to, to Chicago. At the scene, there was a number of things that, uh, obviously, you know, the body and and there was some some tracks, tire tracks that were uh, measured, and there was also a orange and black stocking cap that was found laying in the roadway. The body was was located right out. With the passage of time, family members lose hope as their loved one's unsolved homicide settles into obscurity. The, the photograph, you know, I, I keep it on my desk as sort of a reminder um, that the, there's, there's an unsolved case out there. It didn't happen on my watch, but at the same time, I, I'd like to see it solved on my watch, if at all possible. and. Uh, by leaving your picture up here on my desk, it's, it serves as a, a reminder to uh, to sp spend some time on it whenever I can, and and uh, it it's just something that that I think is important to do. Know this: someone somewhere knows what happened to Mary. They know how she was killed, when, where, and most importantly, why. Mary Kay Schleiss, 30 years unsolved, will examine each piece of forensic evidence, each witness, and each building block that will hopefully lead detectives to Mary Kay Schleiss's killer.